all the food processing activities involve a combination of unit operations to achieve the intended changes to the raw materials which in end determines the nature of the final product in this video we'll take up some basic concept on one of the unit operations that is important in food engineering that is size reduction it is the operation carried out for reducing the size of bigger particles into smaller one of the desired size and shape with the help of external forces it is a process of reducing large solid unit masses into a small unit masses or coarse particles or fine particles in many food processes it is frequently necessary to reduce the size of solid material for different purposes this is the process of size reduction here you can see when an external force is applied so the initially the stress is absorbed internally by the material as strain energy further this strain energy increases and led to fracture in the lines of weakness therefore form a crust particles this slide is about the benefits of size reduction in food processing the first is increase in the surface area to volume ratio of the food so when a bigger particles is being broken into a smaller one the surface area get increase which lead to increase in the rate of drying because more the surface area more the heat transfer will be occurring in a particular food then it will also lead to increase the rate of heating or cooling it also improves the efficiency and rate of extraction more the surface area more will be the extraction of a particular component from a food can be possible it also facilitate mixing and blending it also facilitate heat exchange chemical and biological reactions different mechanisms are used for the size reduction they are compression impact shear attrition first let's see about the compression in this mechanism the material is crushed by the application of pressure compressive forces are used for the coarse crushing of hard materials that is the size will be about 3 mm the second mechanism is impact when a moving particle collides with a stationary surface impact occurs the material is crushed into smaller pieces impact forces are general purpose forces that can be found in the coarse medium and fine grinding of a wide range of materials next is shear produce when the particle is compressed between the edges of two hard surface moving tangentially whereas attrition occurs when arising from the particle scraping against one another or against a rigid surface when the size of the products can reach the micrometer range shear or attrition forces are used we can get our product in sub micron range also that mechanism is known as ultra fine grinding is a phrase that is sometimes used to describe procedure that produce particles in the sub micron range next is energy and power requirement in size reduction this topic is very important for a gate aspirant here we are going to study about three laws rittinger's law born's law and kick's law before studying that let move to the basic of this energy and power requirement of size reduction to estimate the energy requirement for a specified reduction in particle size various mathematical models are available and on what this models are been assumed these are based on the assumption that the energy de required to produce a small change dx in the size of a unit mass of materials can be expressed as a power function of the size of the material so we can write it as de by dx is equal to minus k divided by x to the power n we'll mention this equation as number 1 
So first start with the Rittinger's law. In this Rittinger's law, we assume that that n, which we have mentioned in equation one, is equal to two. So based on the assumption that the energy required should be proportional to the new surface area produced, therefore we'll put the n is equal to two in the equation one, and we'll get dE by dx is equal to minus k divided by x to the power two. Let this equation be our equation two. After integrating the equation two and taking the range of the x, that is small changes from x one to x two, we'll get the equation E is equal to that is energy is equal to k into bracket one by x two minus one by x one. This equation is three. In this, where x one is the average initial initial size of the feed particles. X two is the average size of the product particles. E is the energy requirement per unit mass, and K is a Rittinger's constant. This law is being found to hold better for fine grinding. Next, we are going to study is Kick's law. This is based on the assumption that the energy required should be proportional to the size reduction ratio. And here we consider n is equal to one. So we put the equation. Uh, we'll put the n is equal to one in equation one. So we'll get that d by d x is equal to minus k to the power divided by x to the power one. Let this be a equation four. On integrating with the same range, like a small change from x one to x two, we'll get e is equal to k into l n x one by x two, where X one is the average initial initial size of the feed particles. X two is the average size of the product particles. E is the energy requirement per unit mass. If we require a coarse crushing, this law is suitable for that. The last law is Bond's law. It is based on the assumption that n is equal to one point five. So while putting In equation one, we'll get d e by d x is equal to minus k divided by x to the power one point five. When we integrate this equation, we'll get e is equal to two k into in bracket one divided by root over x two minus one divided by root over x one. We can write this equation in the form of power and feed rate also. That is p by f. Is equal to zero point three one six two into W I that is work index into one bracket one by D P. D P is eighty percent of product passes through the mass of diameter D P minus one by D F is the eighty percent of feed pass through mass of diameter D F T by hour. Here we consider P in kilowatt and feed rate in T by hour. The unit is very important in this equation in order to solve the numericals. This bond law have we found to apply well to a variety of materials undergoing coarse, intermediate, and fine grinding. At last, which we have read this mechanism for the size reduction, the which all the equipment are using it, and at what approximate particle size we are getting. This table is about that. So you can go through it once. That's all with this topic size reduction. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And you can contact us to our email ID foottechinside at the gmail dot com. Also, you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Thank you.